James O'Connor was a, a big idol of mine um, because he was a forward and uh, I was a forward myself and uh, I suppose he grew up and I just want to be, be like them, you know, and I suppose, you know, Niall Gilligan would be as well because he used to hit off the left and I, kind of, I hit off the left, so you know, you'd be out the back, I suppose, pretending to, to be these when you were younger and, and, you know, especially when you saw them winning all Ireland's and going fodding them around with your parents and, and uh, looking for autographs and, you know, like I suppose, you know, it's, 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 they were great times and, you know, so it's kind of important that, you know, we try and be role models now to the younger kid, children coming through and there and, uh, so we're hoping to get back to the to the good days. I said the first time I pulled on was a, a primary game. Uh, it was kind of halftime blitzes, and uh, that was blowing Parky Cueve before Clare last to Prairie by a point. But uh, I remember it was just a, it was a great job. I remember I was injured going into the game, and I, I I just said I was going out in the field anyway, even if I was half injured. And it was just a great experience because back then Parky Cueve used to be packed to the brim, and uh, John Day used to be great atmospheres and. And especially Clare Tipperary matches back then. And, and, you know, that was the first memory, and it was a great proud memory. And I said, hopefully, I'll be back here one day with, with the senior team as well. The last year against Dublin would be probably my, my um, most memorable. Um, so, I was inside in Cusie Park when it was kind of packed to the rim. And uh, so I suppose we went down to 14 men, and um, we hadn't won a championship game. And since I'd, I'd been involved in the, the Clare panel, so that was kind of four years. Um, and just to kind of pull it out of the fire, like when they were up three or four points, and we brought it back to draw, and then we went, we went on and won it by three. And you know, because Dublin had a great year the year before, and we were after to win the league and get into the semi final, and could have got to All Ireland, and that was great for us to kind of get up to that level. And you know, it's given us great confidence this year as well, um, um, and that's you know, that's that's important for the panel as we're, we're young and mature and trying to mature. So I think he's excellent. Uh, he's his professionalism and drive and, and everything he wants to you know, he gets like so um, like for as a far, as you know, talking as a Clare panelist you know, we get you know, everything we ask for we get and uh, any problems we have he sorts them out and you know, that's that's great to have like and people say geez you must have got a the hair dryer treatment there at half time or full time or whenever you know before the match and you just go no no that's that's not that's just not what happens like you no. Know, uh, the, the way things are gone now, like that's kind of gone. Once you, you, um, you know, go, it's up to the players. You know, they're, they're, once you go between the white lines, it's very hard to hear people in uh, stadiums. Their stadiums are full and or even half full. You know, it's very hard to hear anyone out in the field, even players on side. You. Um, so you know, that doesn't happen. It just you know, once it's controlled and, and you know, everyone wants to win now, and um, you know, it's up to the players really to drive it on. And the manager can only get all his job done. And, you know, I, Personally, I think he's he's excellent, and he's you know, he's really brought on Clare Hurling the last two years, and um, and you know, I, I can see things play, you know, going places now at the moment. I suppose Derek Fahey because he's, he's he's always giddy. Uh, he's just one of those kind of goalie types. He's uh, he's always on his toes and always trying to look for the next joke. Uh, and some lads will be trying to get serious, and uh, Derek's always trying to. Uh, see the funny side of things. So yeah, Derek was always uh, on his toes, and I was trying to find a bit of a laugh for the panel. But you need them to, to independent. It, it, you know, it's great to have him part. Mm -hmm.